Hey everyone, welcome back to the Foil YouTube channel. My name is Stephen Reap and I am the owner of Jupiter Spot, an official demonstration partner with Foil. And congratulations, you bought a Foil. So today we're going to learn how to set her up. And as you can see here, we see how small the foil can compact to. Um, the wing breaks off of the mast and the board goes into the bag. Remember, if you do want a carrying case, hit me up for that dealer code and come take a free lesson. All right, now that we have the foil out of the bag, we are ready to put on the mast. Now here's the mast and it's connected to the powertrain. And as you see, uh, there is only one pour coming out here. And uh, that is part of our design being the most advanced e-foil on the market. Uh, it only has one cord, which one makes it super simple for setup, but two makes it easy to, um, well, not only produce, but a lot less can go wrong. We've really simplified it, made this do a lot more. And as you can see, there are gold plates here that keep from corrosion. So all you do here is you thread this through the big hole, make sure it goes forward. You'll feel it click in. Then that's when you put the screws. Now you'll see four sets of fatter screws uh, that are a little shorter than the two other screws and we'll figure out what to do with those later. Uh, and then what I like to do is just line it up and uh, get them started by hand because you don't want to um, start with a drill to de-thread them or uh, cause any problems later on by uh, dampening the integrity of the screws. And um, I like to start one corner and then the opposite corner, then one corner and the opposite corner. And um, that kind of just makes it go in even. So if you, um, you know, you're not putting it in wobbly or really bending it or contorting it in any way. And yeah, let's just screw them on in. Now here that we're tightening the last screw in, what I like to remind people is you don't want to over tight it. Um, this lesson my dad always taught me is you want to do what's called grandma tight, which is tight enough where it's sealed and it's not really, you know, it's definitely sealed, but um, not too tight where grandma can't get the top off the jar. Grandma tight, remember that. All right, now that the mask is on, we are gonna put the wing. Here I have the 250 high aspect ring. That is my favorite wing because I like to cruise around and uh, be stable. Um, and all you do is uh, put this on with two screws. And that's really cool because if you have multiple wings and want to change your riding style, it's super easy. It is just uh, these two taller and uh, thinner screws. And all you do, same thing, you line them up. I like to get them both going again by hand. And then bring out your little Allen wrench or your, uh, your drill, but don't over tight them. Remember, grandma tight. Um, these you definitely do want on the tighter side, but you do not want to uh, strip these. That is no bueno, not fun. All right guys, now that she's set up, we're going to open up the hatch and install the battery. Uh, super easy, just pull hinges, open up, you see that compartment, remember that cord with the gold on it for anti-corrosion, here she is. Now we're going to put in the battery, keep the foil logo on the outside, on the top. Um, on the back, you will see the instructions, the assembled in America. And all you do is line it up until I like to turn it counterclockwise until it, you hear that little fold in. And then turn the tighteners clockwise. Then you'll hear that click noise, the little beeps, and then a prolonged beep. And that's how you know she's connected, she's singing to you, she's happy, she's ready to foil, all right? All right, and now that uh, she's set up, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the remote. Now, the remote here has this lanyard with a floaty that goes around your wrist, very useful. And um, as you see here, it has a center button. And that center button We'll turn it on when it is off and you'll see the pretty foil logo and you'll see the full color screen display that is very unique to foil. No other major brand has that. And um, you'll see a few things. Of course, uh, that Bluetooth is connected, our beautiful logo. And here is the battery of the remote. This big circle around it is the battery of the board. 
and uh, it, when it's locked, it shows you to the percentage of that board battery. And then to unlock it, all you do is hold that center button until that circle goes away and turns green, and then we're good to go. And now that it's unlocked, you can pull the trigger and make it go. Now this is more like a gas pedal than an on-off switch. A lot of people in the beginning have trouble because they're jamming it down and jamming it off. And then it'll be super responsive to you. Um, you want to be slow with this and you, the goal is to hold it down all the way and consistent, but you want to, um, but you don't want to be real jerky with it. If it's, if you're going to be jerky with it, it's going to be jerky with you. There's an old military saying that is slow is smooth and smooth is fast. If you're slow and smooth with it, you will get it fast. Okay. So you want to hold it down and gradually go in and gradually go out. It doesn't take all day, but you do want to be smooth with it. So when it's unlocked, you will see a little number down here, and that is a speed setting. Um, the speed setting is really useful because uh, it keeps you from going the full top speed and it keeps it at a consistent middle ground. You can set it at whatever you want, so you can hold it down and have it consistent. It's consistency, you'll see, is the name of the game. Um, so I, depending on your weight, depending on the wing, depending on the conditions, um, you could play around with the speed settings. I'm 200 pounds. I uh, ride a lot. I ride on the 250 or the 200, and um, I I ride in pretty uh, mild conditions. So I like to be on eight or nine. Um, is my out of 15 is my go-to speed. Um, now for a lighter person on a smaller wing, that might be way too fast. For a uh, way heavier person, that might be in bad conditions. That might be way too slow. So play around with it. Find your middle ground. Uh, find it something that you're comfortable with and you can always play with the uh, speed settings at any time. Another awesome thing about the remotes is the docking bay on the battery. This is how one, you charge your battery and two, how you sync your remote to the battery. Especially if you have multiple batteries, uh, all you do is put this on for 30 seconds. It will Remember this is the battery um, for this remote and uh, it charges it. Uh, the best thing to do when you are charging your battery is to leave your remote here and secure. And it's also really good for making sure you don't forget your remote at home. And of course, after a long day foiling, you will want to charge your battery. Now, the best thing to do is to take your controller, put it on that port so it stays strong and charged, sync to the battery, and then you will take your charger, plug it to any regular outlet, and then you bring it along just like hooking it up to the board. You let that fall into place and tighten that. You'll hear that click and then you'll hear the charger come on. That's how you know it's working. Two hours later you're ready to roll. And as you can see it's super easy to set up. So now this is where the fun begins. Let's go out there, let's ride, let's foil. But before you do remember to subscribe, like, follow, comment, uh, leave any questions you might have, any videos you want to see in the future and are you ready? It is time to learn how to foil my next video. We're going to learn how to ride the baby. So I'll see you out there.